okay so we are talking about uh, new business uh, how to start international identity you know 2007 i came back from bahrain i was working in uh, gpic and we were making about uh, 4 billion tons of cargo we had our you know own jet and uh, we were exporting methanol urea and ammonia and so many uh, you know about uh, i don't know so many countries about 100 country or so and it was sold through <clears throat> sabic it was sold through pic kuwait the urea and bahrain uh, government uh, was the partner with it and we have to support all our you know the uh, what you call the marketeers right so that time uh, you know i was doing some research for my doctorate and uh, i went in for uh, <clears throat> you know a project report like uh, how to start indenting and trading business and i got so much involved that i did all my own transaction and uh, my base uh, considering india so i came took the flights many times came to india i was uh, dealing mainly into the thalicanide right to start with and uh, the report was written and exactly the transactions happened and some money came to my bank account and then my family was okay you know okay now you can start i think some money is coming what you did we don't know but some money is come good amount is come into the bank so thereafter you know immediately i decided to quit from a very high paid job and uh, full facilities and came and started the business right so when i started the business <clears throat> my aim was to do a 1000 crore turnover indenting between buyer and supplier and 100 crore trading okay i have achieved about 75% 80% and then suddenly this you know so many things happened demonetization this that and then the <clears throat> things were going on slow track and then i thought i should uh, not trade now because it is the, the things are not settled so i again come back to indent <clears throat> then i thought uh, this business module i can introduce to everybody and it is not only indenting here i am just taking a, you know clue from indenting but you can do any product the idea is uh, Uh, when there is a lockdown period we learn this technique and we can uh, get into our own slot our own products and the direction is given how to go through this process of you know research and launching and everything and what all is required so you can do into any product this is the idea so don't think uh, the only word indenting is the reverse indenting is export and indenting when you invest is import so it can cover a, uh, anything and everything and also international indenting or international trading also like today we are assuming the base is india for imports and that is indenting but when you have a base in sri lanka or you have a means the home country you assume as a dubai and then you buy from uh, say taiwan and sell into dubai or buy from ukraine and sell into china and take a commission or invest and do the business so it becomes a international indenting or international trading i had been doing that also so you can do that kind of similar thing activity also so i am now just trying to expand the scope <clears throat> all right now i just uh, this bar is up. now yeah international indenting business is done mainly indenting is done between uh, for the facilitation of the foreign suppliers so basically uh, uh, this business is uh, done on behalf of supplier or exporter of that country and the exports products into india okay so uh, that exports products to india means from you are uh, sourcing from uh, you know abroad and you are bringing that products into india and selling in the indian market okay darwaza band kar okay so uh, the commission is uh, received from uh, exporter means the person from which we are sourcing so because it is coming from outside and we are doing facilitation for there so uh, the money you can take in us dollar also or rather you should take in us dollar the advantage is that so you get the income in foreign exchange and uh, you are giving the service to the supplier because when i went and started this company i went to korea lgkm and 
you know, SK Energy and so many companies. And actually that time I found people are not much interested to do <clears throat> business with India. Not much they were doing. Whatever they have offices they were selling. But they were ignoring India. So I went and made them very clear because my research was done very, very nicely into 10 products. Uh, and of course I studied the 100 products, but 10 product research was in depth. And uh, then I told them that India is going to be the future market. You start now. And uh, some of them, uh, you know, really listened to us after going five, six times. And then uh, there was a big, big number of tonnages coming from Korea, Taiwan and other countries. Because otherwise, only the cheaper sources uh, uh, we were looking after. So there were many quality complaints, many insurance work, many things happening. If you're bringing from China or some, uh, you know, low cost products uh, for the matter. <clears throat> so the coordination for Indian buyers, also that exporters product, we will coordinate for the Indian buyers importing these products from those foreign companies into India by matching their requirement. So what is important, suppose uh, a product, uh, suppose for example, PVC. So PVC, if we are uh, trying to do, and uh, you have the local requirement, like he said, the compounding is a very, very big industry because so many cable manufacturing is uh, done in India. Of course, that uh, just to share with, uh, uh, even in Bangladesh, the grade use is uh, K72. And here the grade use is 67. I don't know what is the grade they use here uh, now nowadays. So somebody was there from, uh, I think, Delhi. No? Cable compounding, which grade you are using, sir? If you can share with me. We use generally Cable K67. Compounding. K67. Correct. So now, yeah, exactly. So, uh, but you, if you Bombay. if you really ask me, because uh, K67 is uh, mainly extrusion grade or, uh, you know, uh, what you call uh, suspension grade. Suspension and grade. For the right. cable grade, you require actually K72. Yeah. So you require a special, uh, special grade of it. And this is very expensive product, maybe $50 expensive. But in India, you know, maybe they are increasing the thickness of the uh, you know, sheathing and all that kind of thing. So they may be managing it. So actually speaking worldwide, it should be K72 grade. So India should also use K72, but it is expensive. Like EVA, if you use it for a master batch, EVA is the best uh, master batch product, which I handled about 40 years back. We used to make our own EVA in our plant for our own uh, manufacturing of LDP and other products. Uh, anyway, so this is K67. Uh, we are using and suppose there is a K67 major market is a pipe and there is a, uh, you know for molding pipe moldings and then cable compounding and then sheathing and then uh, PVC window profile and so many you know fridge interiors and so many products of PVC so this whole gamut wherever you find there is a lot of imports coming in any product <coughs> Like for PVC, uh, when I started the business, it was 2 million ton and only 1 million ton was produced. So 1 million ton was the import potential. So direct business available is 1 million ton. And then it was 2.5 million ton and uh, 3 million ton. Of course, now uh, forget about this last 3, 4 months, 6 months time. But on an average, it has gone to 2.5 or 3 million ton. And the capacities are 1.5 million ton. That means every month you can import one to one lakh fifty thousand ton. Okay, barring some years in between and you know some months uh, will be dull. But by and large, if it is less important one month, it will be more important in after two months or three months time. <clears throat> so there is a huge potential, and this particular business, everybody talks about export. Fine, that is fine. Once you make the cable compound, you make it and you export it, then then actually the export business start. But if you see or if you ask me. If you are making a K67 grade, I don't know whether there will be exports available for those products even in Bangladesh. Because I have sold into Bangladesh uh, BRB cables and they were strictly wanting K72. I was insisting K67 used in India and all. They said, no, we want that dielectric constant kappa to this, this level or so. So everybody talks about export. But uh, according to me, there is a big import first coming in. And then export is happening. So I'm also pro to export. So if you want to do export also, it is a reverse indent. Only here, the, our supplier uh, country becomes our uh, uh, buyer. So it is reversed. 
and our buyer in India becomes our supplier. It's not the same buyer. It's India becomes our home country becomes a supplier. <clears throat> but there is a huge potential I see. And I saw that and I was comfortable because I, 40 years back, I was working in BSF, German company. They had about 5,000 products and they were the biggest company uh, in the German. <clears throat> so West Germany that time and now the German. That time I found that the duty structure was 185% and uh, still the, some products were coming on import because many products were not being manufactured in uh, India like acrylates and uh, four point depression. Uh, yeah, so many products have been coming and slowly, slowly we indigenized and we reduced the duties from 185% to 25 to 10% and we become competitive because if we would have been suddenly coming into this duty level, then many industries would have been collapsed or they were, you know, just wicked. <clears throat> so, indenting has a very, very, very big scope and it is reverse indenting is also possible. But first, let us understand the what quality is required for every product. And then if you target those kind of qualities, it will be easier for to you to export. So, my always uh, suggestions are, find the ready market instead of fighting and going into the smaller market and many people you know uh, are in queue and there is export subsidy because things are happening like some somebody from uh, delhi only uh, he took big orders into you know for three years and now suddenly after two years the export duty uh, you know that uh, what you call uh, uh, subsidy was withdrawn now he's just uh, can't do anything because it was all priced uh, based on the subsidy. So my request is whenever you try to do export, let that export subsidy comes as your additional profit. You don't calculate in your exporting price or your marginal costing or whatever. Okay. So here <clears throat> you are going to source it from foreign supply for, for a consideration and you are going to sell into the Indian customer. Many times it can happen once you are a quality uh, supplier, the customer will come to you. So it can be both ways also, because uh, those who want a very quality product or they want for export, <clears throat> at least those companies can come to us or those who are having import and have an advanced license, they can save the duty and bring at the competitive price. So there is another market also. And third market is the existing market. You compete with whatever Reliance or this or that into PVC I'm talking. DCW or K plus, Phenolex, and so many companies, Indian companies. But that is the last choice because normally we don't want to, you know, unnecessarily, uh, you know, penetrate into our own Indian manufacturers. But if needed, yes, we want to do because if they are not, how I entered into PVC, then they were unable to supply the material. And there was a Plast India in 2009. I was just passing by and I saw that and being a plastic man, I entered there and there was about, uh, 100 people in their stall and shouting and that money has not money has been paid and goods has not been coming so these uh, oldies they came to me and said you were outside and supply so can we use your uh, you know the uh, influence or the networking and we can bring the material i talked from there only to lg another uh, because i was supplying lakhs of tons of some other raw material and he advised to uh, general manager or the team leader they call of PVC to quality. And there and there itself, I booked 3,500 ton. And later on, five to seven years, Uday Aldipur is also here. And uh, many, many people have joined. And I gave that business because I can't do everything. There's so much business is there. And there was shortage of the material and $650 price. The, the today current rate is say, 700, 750. So that was the lowest price. And I just asked them to buy, 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 like, you know, because I know that this price is actually $1,200 or $1,000. And believe me, everybody, everybody got Q7. They say that Q7 man means everybody earned at least one crore and in one, one individual transactions also because the prices have gone up. So there is a very, very big opportunity and uh, till the, the production comes back. <clears throat> so you will coordinate with the Indian buyers and they can be your permanent buyers. And I was new to India at that time and I was not knowing also PVC. I suddenly entered by chance and uh, we did about 30, 40,000 tons of business. And even if you get uh, $10 or $5, initially $10 we used to get. So $10 for say 20,000 tons is good enough. How much it will be? $2 lakh dollar. 
then another uh, 20000 uh, tons maybe 5 dollar okay 1 lakh dollar whatever so if you have only one product is also again a problem so you have to build a kitty why i am here today is you build a kitty how i target it i did my market research and i made my planning 2007 to 2020 now 2020 has come i have made up to 2050 of course there will be some products coming and going but we cannot afford to depend upon one product or one segment and just try to say that you know we lost the opportunity we don't know how to do it now somebody was doing kitchen ware you know that uh, modular kitchen and he was insisting can you tell me the market for uh, modular kitchen i can join your course i said first of all you take out your modular kitchen and throw outside your mind how many clients you have zero at the moment is so why you are stuck to that you should have been diversified by long time because you are uh, you know you have a good networking but there is no market then how it will help you so better is we go for that kind of market where it is and develop our 10 products in a year at least you develop two products and it becomes a cashing cow and then again next year two products so at least 10 products in the kitty and always new 10 products should be researched is a lot of work it is not a easy game means easy work but you should concentrate you make your product uh, research and think and two products introduce and then go into particular uh, you know hand it over to your people <clears throat> so coordinating for indian buyers and doing the job and international indenting business is very very lucrative how it is lucrative uh, we'll just see this slide all right Okay. <clears throat> so it is a sophisticated business. Always indenting is a, or indenter, and uh, this business is a sophisticated business. You are going into the topmost suppliers of the world, and you are dealing with the topmost most of the time. You will deal in first ten and up to hundred number, because in PVC, like we have a twelve hundred custom. So out of twelve hundred, we have a hundred set of custom. so maybe top 10 like supreme and pinolex and these kind of you know all these companies prince pipe and you know so these company dutron pipe and so many all over the across uh, klz uh, polymers i think klz is also making the uh, compounding so these uh, kind of all the people and where you are dealing at the top because this is minimum 1000 ton minimum 2000 ton even 100 ton but this most of the decisions the bigger decisions are done at the md level or a uh, purchase general manager or purchase vice president and most of the time i am dealing with the mainly the owner of the company and then he says ki okay now whatever coming through this gentleman or this company will be the very good product because by i when i came here it was not that quality products of pvc they were getting because these countries were ignoring to supply here so it is a very very sophisticated business it is a craze for foreign products before nowadays it is not so much but still you know if you are wearing a rolex watch or you are wearing some webster or you know kind of fancy cars or so there is always a craze of products so that is also part of so always you should have a max mix of the your products means you have a commodity product you have a specialty product and you have a equipment you have so you have to have a max mix so how to see the max mix how you will generate so that one product you get uh, you know the big turnover uh, like uh, when i went into the injection molding uh, though it was not my product and i, yeah, I was not uh, uh, trained for that but i was selling a lot of resin to these people so for example prince pipe so he he, he was uh, taking about total 13000 ton out of which you say 5000 ton was import and rest is local manufacture now they have machines when they expanded because when the things go uh, going good they want 50 machines at a time so i chipped it and i tried to get into this particular line uh, you know when i see a uh, in the thai plus i see a scroll going on in fiki stall so fiki stall nobody was there i i could discuss with them so i just saw 1500 machines are manufactured in india and there is a demand of 5000 to 7500 machines so i said there is a big big market i went ahead come back went ahead come back and then i decided so this is the opportunity you have to see in every niche of the products into your first product line 
or in your complementary line, and then even for the new line. I went ahead and talked to uh, Fusung Shin Taiwan, the first stall I see. I talked to their chairman and asked them, I want to sell you a machine. And then, uh, you know, uh, he introduced to her daughter. We went to Prince Pipe. So she was not really confident that a polymer man can sell the machines. And then uh, we met to the owner, uh, Mr. Cheda. And he said, uh, yes, your products must be quality because you are giving the best quality in the world for resin that time, 10, 10 12 years back. And then uh, uh, he asked for the 50 machines, which they could not supply. They said only 15 machines we could supply. And believe me, after that, my car run for 50,000 kilometers because I saw the good opportunity. And after 50,000 kilometers, I stopped. I already sell uh, $2 million machines okay, to various companies. And $2 million, one order after one or two years to TACO, Tata Auto Component. So if I sell $4 million and if I get even 5 to 10%, you can imagine what kind of profit. So then the automotive industry go down and go up and now, so things happen. So you don't get attached to the product. So you get out of that. Again, whenever there is a demand, they will approach. Okay. So this is how is the big chunk of business. I'm not promoting only imports as such, but if you see the export, the same thing you can do. And instead of your supplier being here in indenting, it will be your customer abroad and the supplier will be in India. <clears throat> Imports happen due to production for value addition and then for exports. This it is for re-export, we call it. The government import lines are very well stabilized. The channels, you know, uh, that how the duties are set and everything is so many years it is going on, right? I just want to make this scroll bar very small. One second. Not going beyond. All right. Okay. Immense business potential due to following. Not so far targeted business module like exports. You know. So so I am uh, actually somebody said you are creating a competition. I said no problem. Because the huge import potential is there and huge export potential is there. So it's not like a creating, but I cannot do everywhere business. So you can be in Punjab, you can be in Haryana, you can be in Delhi, you can be in Bombay, you can be in Chennai. Wherever there is a big potential available. Suppose I develop one product, I can give it to you. You develop some product, you give it to us. And this is how this networking can be done. So this huge potential of the business is due to unfavorable BOP, balance of payment. So imports is much higher. I'm talking about two, three years figure is a 600 million was import and 400 billion was exports. So at least this 600 billion can be your target market. And this 600 billion can be worked upon. And if you include the exports also, so it will be about a thousand billion dollar market for you as an indenting. Because every business requires the mediator and like a consultant. Okay, and they don't mind paying $5, $10 or some fixed 1% or 2% because there's, uh, there is an ease of, uh, you know, for the purchaser, right? Scarcity, scarcity of the products also creating like crude oil is coming or petrochemical or commodity, raw materials, technologies, electronics, machinery. So, so many products are required and day to day it is required. If you see the top 10 top 10 the import product and export product the first two are almost common that they they are like a crude oil or mineral oil and uh, petrol uh, means uh, petroleum product petrochemical product second is gems and jewelry and uh, gold and such thing so after that if you see there will be iron and this and so many uh, handicrafts so many products are exported and imported also machinery that is also coming. The fertilizers are coming by import. The cement is coming before. Now, now we have become an exporter also. So this list will be always a little bit changing. But by and large, if you take top 100 products, you can take from them that list, which product to do. First two products, I would say avoid as far as possible because they are bigger chunk. You require to bring 1,50,000 ton of uh, say crude oil or you need to uh, bring uh, methanol of 20,000 ton or something like that. So you try to get into 
uh, or gold and this thing silver so it is a big uh, big uh, little little uh, you know problematic business because uh, there are the we have to go up to africa to see the mining and this thing and then the deal is done in india or dubai or something so initially when you start the business go into easier and not negative list on very big products but yes those who are say uh, the uh, demand supply gap so you observe the demand supply gap in whatever you are liking product choose that product if it is more than 5 lakhs as per the commodity you can do that if it is a specialty if it is more than 1 lakh also you can do that product so this is how i have targeted and this is a practical course what what we conduct and we will show you the practical things now the import for home country as well as can expand to other country now i am i am putting the expansion of this thing in the ending that today you are talking about because india is such a otherwise i would have not let left middle east and come here if i put into sheikh zaid road office or a banama in bahrain or anywhere like that but my business is here in india so once i source the suppliers i don't have to go again and again to them they are very big companies you have contractuated or you have a verbal understanding and uh, it goes through if you are dealing with top 10 companies of that country if you name the country most of the countries i have the uh, first three or first five companies like in korea i have sk energy i have lg chem korea samyang and like that those companies if i take about turkey it will be advansa the biggest company like tata in that country or in uh, malaysia it will be petronas or bsf uh, or, or this kind of companies or taiwan it will be like a formosa or nanya plastic or darian or tpcc like that so if you are dealing with top 10 or top 5 companies then you will never ever face any quality issues shortage issue or anything for your information in 10000 consignments suppose plus minus maybe 1000 consignments i might have done on my own for indenting and some for trading and not a single complaint not a single complaint of specification not a single complaint of shortage not a single complaint of that. okay so i try to normally avoid china but if you say somebody customer says i want from china and you bring from this supplier i will bring but i will tell them clearly i am not responsible for any quality unless i don't see that manufacturer i am convinced if he gives me time a customer to go there and analyze and come back and then only i can supply otherwise if possible like certain products will come from china only so you have no uh, no chance to go means competitively so you, but you have to go and visit practically see sit across with them because otherwise it will be a, a big problem for your customer so if you do a business so when somebody asks if there is a low quality or some quality issue i tell them i think you are somewhere wrong in matching the requirement of specification or you are not gone to the best companies in the world so if you go to best companies in the world maybe you will do less means suppose instead of 10 lakh ton you will do a 1 lakh ton business but you will have no problem because to sorting out the problem is much difficult because mm. as uh, there is some insurance agent uh, they will tell you how much months it goes how many months it goes maybe 6 months 1 year and then you get 70 80% don't think that you are getting 110% you will get back everything the prices are fluctuated by the time so please try to do a very very credible customer and very very more credible i would say the supplier and then you will face no problem so this business is very sophisticated that is why if you do it in a proper way and in denting you will get the you know kind of your consideration what will be your profit or this thing so so you will try to get your commission and you can take that commission in us dollar normally or euro or hard currencies so that they don't fluctuate much or it gets appreciated and your value becomes more okay because when i came to india and started business it was 45 dollar now it is 75 so if somebody is importing he he is many times losing or he is paying higher price but for us always after some time we are earning 30 rupees more in every every dollar so even if our commission is get down from say twenty dollar to ten dollar, ten dollar to five dollar, five dollar to say three dollar. But if volumes are more and the dollar is appreciated, which actually as a India we don't want to happen, but it happens. So you 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 are into that particular business.
okay so indenting is nothing but a sourcing sourcing of products or services from overseas supplier now i am going into specifics are you able to see on the screen so, so deepak ji how much more time are you able take? to see yeah we are able to see but how much more time yeah, will you uh, take another 15 minutes we are already at 1023 yeah. so yes so, so please sourcing make it of fast. products and services yes sourcing of products and services and for buyers in india and another overseas country for sub consideration right so the person who is mediating is a indenter indenter is basically facilitator between buyer and sub supporting supplier the indenter is free to choose his product of interest or his suppliers or even buyers so that freedom is with us that we choose our product we go to supplier accordingly and we come back and sell it. the whole transaction goes through a indenter so indenter makes the match making but the risk doesn't go to the indenter moreover the indenter has whole world of companies say about 200 companies and 200 countries and out of which even 150 countries are exporting and they they become your suppliers you can go and source from them depending on the product to source these products from for the buyers and requirement we probably back in india same strategy can be adopted for other countries as a assuming that is a home country and you can do from uh, another country to another country this third country so what is the advantage i'll come to the quickly advantage benefits of doing indenting business so host small office home office you can sit anywhere and do business with laptop and internet connectivity very lucrative business as i told you no or minimal investment required only your knowledge or visits to abroad or local customers and that to not many times abroad but at least uh, once in a five year you have to visit your suppliers and initially maybe you will have to visit more time and that is only investment and uh, minimal risk uh, as only your commission is at stake and somebody else is uh, either buyer is investing or supplier is investing and uh, there is uh, hardly any you know kind of a documentation required only your invoice is to be produced to the supplier after they receive the money and compliances means whatever income you get in dollar you show as your income and pay your taxes <clears throat> this business uh, you know can be done with different buyers different suppliers normally the suppliers are overseas expanse of this business is very huge and beyond geographical territories very huge business potential which we have already seen so what this course will cover general introduction what is indenting what is indenter why import happens because we should know why it is happening and why why it will happen continue what to import <clears throat> then how to do market survey that is very very important if you don't do market survey and just get into jump into the product then probably you will have a situation which other people are uh, facing how to choose products customer supplier how to shortlist them what are the indents indentment is the contracts or your sales contract or uh, you know kind of pro forma invoice and why and how it has to be done so your indent should supersede any purchase order or anything you just to follow the indent asking to the uh, uh, you know customer what indenting process steps involved what are the documentation and it is a big chain you know from customer to supplier and all everything you are handling and you are matching it uh, then banking transaction normally the bulk uh, volumes are done through the lcs some uh, you know like perishable items and all are sold on consignment basis and some are in you know, advance payment also if you are doing business with iraq and any other thing. so this is how you know and why import happens the calamities or due to earning margins and technology what to import the gadgets gadgets commodities wheat rice now there is a opportunity immediately i can say uh, that uh, this urad dal has been released for 200000 just now my uh, my friend from rangoon he called me that the license are released to the mill owners so now if you have a dal mill into your area you can check the if they have a license then you can import and uh, you know to that extent so these are given the spot opportunities but there are always importable items and uh, like all our petrochemical range if you want after this thing we can share with you what we all can do so metal products and technology catalysts refinery products petrochemical products intermediate pharmaceutical 
uh, you know, oleo chemicals, palm oil, and so many products, wood, pulp, paper, polymer, machineries, injection molding, glow molding, service industry, diagnostic, automotive, some car special, fire brigade uh, stations and trucks and defense uh, products, agriculture machinery, automation, robot, excavation robot, all these things will have a very good importance in coming time. And experience and specialist manpower also. The list is never ending. So how this will do with the secondary and the primary research in, in the proper methodical way. So 20 products you will target and from that and how to target also those you will research secondary, primary and you will how many customers you will find, how many suppliers you will find or you have to do that will take you through the process. Then actual visit for the uh, primary data collection and then you make your report. You decide the agency commission from the supplier and shortlisting again and then doing the business and offering this, offering the, uh, making the offer. After doing this all exercise, then focus uh, uh, five to 10 products for a year and uh, form, then form an indenting company. So you go up to that level. Don't try to do expenses and do, you know, kind of licensing first. But if you already have a, it requires only IC code, import export code number from DGFT. Unless you invest and do, then you require GST and other things. So this is the easiest business which I've ever, I've ever seen. And I, I, I try to do that business, you know, and uh, so far, uh, again, I've come back from trading. Also, I came back to indenting because it is not really taking away any of your, you know, uh, the capital or any losses or anything due to whatever external factors happen. Approaching customer, manufacturer, traders after the products are offered, taking the indents, coordination with the establishing LC. So all this we will be able to do and then getting shipment schedule from the suppliers, then doing the documentation like invoice, packing list, bill of lading, and insurance, call, certificate of origin, certificate of analysis, SGS certificate, or any other special certificate required as per the contract or letter of credit. Then after these documents are coming from after the shipment, uh, shipping document come, which we forward, we take okay of the customer, and then we say the original documents from our uh, supplier, supplier's bank book, customer's bank, then they retire, means if it is LC side, make the payment. If it is 90 days, they will sign the bill of exchange and that payment will go over there. These original documents, they take like bill of lading and other things to CHA, get the clearance of the cargo. This is not a clearing forwarding business. Please understand, many people, you know, misunderstand that this is a clearing forwarding or uh, that kind of business. Of course, that business is also good, but we are not going to do that business. So buyer is doing the import, buyer will give it to his clearing uh, custom house agent and he will clear the goods. It is not our responsibility. Our responsibility is to tie up and give the best quality available. Ask the customer in that and, and after the material, after the CHA clears it, uh, if you are a buyer, suppose you are investing that you become a buyer, otherwise you are an indenter. And then you can sell on a high seas or bordered barrels or stock and sale or consignee sale. And after, suppose you are doing a dentist job, then you get a commission uh, for that. So this is always the you know end of uh, my presentation. So if any questions, uh, welcome. I can go on talking because this is my core core subject, and I have done a lot of business in India also and abroad. The exports and which used to come into India also and more than 50, 100 countries. Thank you so much. And uh, because of time constraint, I think I finished exactly by. You know, 15 minutes, as I'd say. So any questions, please unmute, tell your name and ask. If I am able to ask, fine. If I am not able to, by chance, it cannot happen, but by chance, then you can, uh, I can revert back to you. Thank you so much. Dhaniwad. Over to Atul and questions. Hello. If you want to import the electronic yes, item sir. from the China, is it feasible now? Yes. Okay. So it requires yeah. some requirement yeah. in the bulk. We can Gongzhou, go through Gongzhou, your, province. Right? Gongzhou province. Gongzhou province, you can do. Of course, now there is a lockdown period and these things in India also is not safe to do. Uh -huh. Correct. Okay. Yeah. But if you want a better quality, you go to Taiwan. See, that's what I will I will coach you how to do, how, what to do, and, and uh, how to get success, you know? Because what kind of client? Only they were they are price centric. Then of course, you know the 
maybe probably the life of the product like uh, mostly i get into the best product in the world so what happens means in that category so there is no customer dissonance means there is no customer complaint because that product will run for say 10 years 20 years suppose i buy an ipad i buy in 2010 same ipad i am using only uh, that uh, gb space is to be updated the screen is excellent every sound is excellent everything is good so it is for life long unless you break or you, you so up to you how you are like laptop you know i'll tell you the opportunity as you said electronics and this laptop my son wanted to do some high tech program this kind of z series laptops are not available i said there's a big opportunity we should do it now my participant who was a hardware engineer i told him now you don't don't just repair the laptop you sell the laptop and then the one of the participant i have requested now you invest into that who has petrol pumps and other so maybe if they gel it together and they are from the same province let's say uh, amdavad and somebody is in jaipur and is jaipur somebody relative is there so we have to connect so i am trying to make even our 50 100 people participants and they can even help each other just talking it is a, so many products coming in thalic melic acetic acid methanol in my product there are so many steel is coming gi sheets are coming the noise reduction things are coming so there are so many new technologies in the road coming and only important thing in indenting never ever do open credit business please for god sake otherwise you will say uh, you told us and we did never ever settle for any uh, open credit never ever settle for any low quality product never ever settle that any hidden agenda with the customer or supplier never ever try to undercut anywhere to anybody and please take your entire commission properly and it has not happened that i lost any commission by god's grace or touchwood by doing the method so these are all five important things and please do visit the suppliers suppliers end and go to the supplier end so, so and try thank to you thank those. you deepak ji thank you sir. Uh, yeah please ha. any any other, any, any other questions then we can take it afterwards also any other questions thank you very much yeah so deepak ji please share your number uh, so that if there is somebody who not got it he can uh, i think i have already shared on the chat yeah so can you please already shared on the chat yeah so can you please stop sharing your presentation yeah yeah yes sir. yeah so people i'll take and if somebody has questions you can yeah, yeah. we have ask, listed ask the ask products from the china and uh, china is only manufacturer so, for the you products can please here. you can please have the conversation later on okay so i'll take around 5 yes, minutes okay. to share about the ceo talks ha huh, then we can take again yeah, please, questions please can you yes. please stop Thank sharing you. the presentation yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. i'm just